Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed lower on Friday, pressured by shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, tech hardware and equipment in automobiles and component sectors. On the economic docket, retail sales rising half a percent month over month in May, industrial production rising 0.4 percent month over month in May, and lastly, the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index falling to 97.9 in June as 58 percent of S&P 500 constituents traded lower Friday. Now, after the markets closed, there was no major news to report, so we turn overseas. Asian markets mixed today. The Nikkei rising 0.03%. The Hang Seng up 0.4%. China CSI 300 flat, while South Korea's coast be down 0.22%. European markets consolidating, and U.S. futures call for a flat to higher start. Now, in terms of expectations today, there's no major earnings expected, so we go to data. 8.30 in the morning, we have the June New York Empire State Manufacturing Index. 10 o'clock in the morning, the June NAHB Housing Market Index. Now, over in the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin with the watch level. 29.22, and that's in focus. The relative strength index bullish and calling for further advance. Long positions above 28.92 are favored with targets at 29.11 and 29.22 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, that looks for 75.85.25. And the Dow Jones, that sees its target at 26,290.